Temperatures this morning mainly range from the 40s and into the 30s, but we've seen a couple spots uh, having dipped into the 50s at times today, though now cooling off before the sun comes up. 48 degrees now in Greenville. We've got 46 in Gaffney and Union um, out toward Tacoa and Hartwell. It's actually 46 degrees in Waynesville, too. You've seen a little more cloud cover near that Tennessee line this morning, but most of the mountains, especially near Asheville, Rutherfordton and Franklin, have dropped into the 30s as the the day gets started. It's not overcast. We actually have a good bit of clear sky in the upstate already, but the clouds near the Tennessee line have been a little bit on the thicker side. There were some brief showers overnight in Tennessee that got over that Tennessee line briefly. So if you wake up and your car's a little bit wet in some of the higher elevations near the Tennessee line, you might see that, but it's already moving out and we're in for a beautiful day today. Highs reach 70 degrees. This is far above average for this time of year. About 60 is our normal. Beautiful conditions though for the day with a light breeze and a good bit of sunshine with only a few passing clouds. North Carolina turning partly cloudy today and feeling comfortable. Not as warm as yesterday, but still great. So I'm calling it a high of 60 today on your Carolina Sky Meter. And with that considered, it's going to look good enough on your Sky Meter to call it a perfect 10. Once again, we had a 9 on Tuesday, a 10 on Wednesday, another 10 today. And we're going to hold on to this beautiful weather for just today. After today's partly cloudy to even mostly clear sky at times, it turns cloudier and rain showers develop by tomorrow morning. This is 7 a.m. Friday, a couple sprinkles every now and then. The rain gets heavier by about midday into the afternoon, 2 p.m., just a soaker across the entire region. And some of this rain will last through about 10 or 11 o'clock at night. So Futurecast holds on to all that wet weather. In total, on Friday alone, there could be over an inch of rain in parts of the upstate, close to, if not just under an inch for the mountains. It does look like the upstate will absorb some of the heavier downpours, which will lead to the potential of some brief ponding on roadways. Friday afternoon is going to be a big soaker, so that's something to look out for, and it's going to be colder as well in the 40s. Now, Saturday morning around 6 a.m., hopefully many of you will be sleeping in and enjoying a good bit of the weekend mornings, but there's still a potential for some showers out there. A lot of the rain will fade by about 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon, so we'll get some weekend time with maybe the sun peeking through every now and then. But another round of showers will start popping up on Sunday every now and then. So between the two days, Saturday is the better day to get outside. Sunday turns a little rainy, and then Monday, back to that soaking wet weather by about 8 and 9 a.m. So we're going to have these waves of wet weather coming back through. So hopefully you've enjoyed the nice stretch we've got. We have another great day today. So